guts to big O, but this one's for big. Hey, yo, it's big Z bouncing on that B1 sleeve. You're watching Sigma Red Sessions. My name's Maggie, and I'm here with Verbal Mechanics with Mumbles and Ziggy. How are you guys going doing? On? Good, good. Good, good. Yeah, can't complain. Yeah, yeah that's well. good. What's going on? So you guys are in the Sydney scene. You guys mostly, yeah. primarily, I've seen you guys do freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tell us about that, because that's pretty awesome. Not a lot yeah, of artists it's, can it's, do freestyle. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, particularly um, as a group, mm -hmm. and a lot of people um, enjoy that it's like it's a freestyle combo. Yeah. You know, a lot, mm -hmm. heaps of artists do freestyle. Yeah. You know, and, and he interviewed uh, Matus. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I yeah. did a show with him at, uh, at the Foundry. Oh, yeah, he does that writing thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool, he's cool, but it's good because Mumbles freestyles his beats mm -hmm. while I freestyle the raps. That's amazing. So it's just a full freestyle How do you, show. I guess, sync with each other? Yeah. Do you um, follow him? He follows waves, you? How like, does it work? <laughs> Telepathic no, no, type just, stuff? Dope MC. Yeah. Knowing timing, knowing mm. what's going on, mm. um, to the point knowing that if, if something slips up on my end, mm. Um, it's going to come back yep. and same vice versa. Yeah, so, yeah. Because mm. you guys haven't known each other for that long. Oh, well, you haven't worked with each other yeah, for that long, right? Film. So it's jamming, been about six jamming months. Jamming each other for ages. Okay. So, yeah. Jamming peanut butter and all the rest. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So how did you find the connection? Anything annoy you guys? Or oh, any well, I was <laughs> for ages i worked with a bunch of different uh, producers and yeah. beat makers uh -huh. um, i played with a live funk soul band mm -hmm. um called the leisure band and so did a lot oh, of gigs nice. with them and that really because heaps of rappers do a lot of um mcs are really uh you know selfish uh -huh. in, a, in a show you know okay. what I mean? yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i'm sure he's loving that yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> When you play with a live band, it really teaches you to work as a Quite jam, patient, you know what I mean? yeah, So just yeah, getting yeah. up there to mm -hmm. get your piece out, your work, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's everyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that works in Mumbles because he's oh, great. Yeah, playing yeah. an instrument. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so you guys I'm like are, a band. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are also working on a new album. Tell us yeah, about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, start, I did um, an album before I met Mumbles called mm -hmm. Oddworld Disorder, mm -hmm. that you can see it on my SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. um, and then met Elliot and I was... You know, jacking <laughs> marbles, jacking beats from people, yeah, and um, and uh, using beats from here and there. And then I found marbles, and I was like, oh, we've got, uh, you know, a producer that I can sit mm. down and go, I like this kind of stuff. And mm. then he goes, yeah, cool. And then he, you know, I liked your stuff too. Okay? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. a mutual relationship. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we did a lot. We've done heaps of gigs before. We decided, oh, we're gonna we'll mm. make something. You know, mm. and then yeah. it's just been a live show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we started we're working on a five-track EP. Awesome. Um, don't have a name for it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, really cool stuff. We're just working yeah. on, especially Elliot, because because it's all live jamming stuff. He's working on. Um, I guess it's for you to speak about, but rounding off beats yeah, to just, make them just pulling beats. Um, yeah. You know, from just from samples mm -hmm. and having fun jamming yeah, wise yeah. to mm -hmm. laying down a solid beat and mm -hmm. saying, "Is this something you're happy with?" Yeah, as yeah. The MC that's on it, mm -hmm. and something I'm happy with to push out as a mm -hmm. producer and say, mm -hmm. "You know, that's my sound." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In a way, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't really have a sound, but I suppose okay. uh, from what's been heard, it's very boom bap. Yeah, sort mm -hmm. of definitely. Um, that's what I thought as well. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's good to bring that back. You know, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely still around. Yeah, it's for sure. You know, I'm not going to say it's fading. But yeah, so we're gonna do It's still things. around, yeah, just yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. less appreciated. And also, what drew me towards him is because I, I found heaps of people who go, oh, this, you know, you got, you got, yeah, you got cool rhymes, you've mm. got some cool beats, and mm. they've got this, you know, weird kind of, I don't know. And I've, and I always feel embarrassed saying, can you just do the old shit? You yeah, know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah and, I got um, that feeling with you guys as well. Just does, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly yeah, what I want. it just does the old shit. It's amazing, man. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, I guess for both of you guys, mm. who would have been your influences? I mean, production-wise and as an oh, MC. What do, what do you think for you? Production-wise, like, yeah. you know, I, you know you're I'm, gonna, you. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, let's let's keep it. Oh, not keep it. For right now, mm. in Australia, uh, mm. first guy I ever saw on a live drum um, drum pad. It was the yeah. MPD, but it was oh. it was Elgusto oh, from, nice. uh, from Hermitude. Yeah, and I was yeah. at one of their gigs, and I was like, "What is that thing?" As a yeah. drummer, I was like. I need that. That's so cool. You can mm -hmm. put your own sounds in there and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Looked into more into that. Um, I'd been listening to Downside, but then, you know, found out more about Disaster's yeah. production mm -hmm. and, and that's all NPC based, mm -hmm. uh, live production and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, between that, B. Razzo, who's a dude from yep. America, he's, mm -hmm. he's a lot of YouTube clips I, I first saw with doing two NPCs at once. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, that's next yeah, level. Yeah, that's and awesome. So, you know, I just kind yeah. of kept working towards it yeah. and trying to get to that mm -hmm. live production point in my life. And I actually saw Augusto, the first hip hop gig I ever went to. The first really? time I saw rap live, and yeah. not just in Australia, but the first rap live was Earthboy 
um, yeah. with Augusto, and he yeah. came yeah. out of the NPC on like a strap around yeah. his yeah. like, that was like, that's it. That's awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. And I guess the fact that you use an NPC, obviously, mm. says yeah. a lot already anyway. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a, a bit of that nostalgic feel. Yeah, right? it does. see that and they're like, oh, you know, it takes yeah. me back. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. I like that hands-on feel towards mm. my production. Mm -hmm. If I'm sitting there with the computer, yeah, you know, it's it's very, you know. Because he's a drummer as well. Yeah, it's worked out well. Nice. Who known? A bit more hands on. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And you? Um, well, I guess I don't know, it started out with Eminem when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, because he can I recite loved... every verse. I swear. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I love the, I love the, awesome. the freestyle. I'd watch battles yeah. and stuff before uh -huh. I started writing music. I was doing uh -huh. heaps of battle competitions, and I was all about freestyle because I yeah. like if you. If you're an MC, if you don't freestyle, mm -hmm. it's like, because I feel, you know, a lot of people write dope verses and you poets and stuff, yeah. but about yeah. rap and being mm -hmm. an MC, you got to freestyle. And that's yeah, like yeah. the strongest point about it. And then, you know, I love, um, I love Necro and I love Nas mm -hmm. and ah, yeah, know, yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I obviously try and find my own uh, aspect of that. From like Eminem, I love the, I love that. Because like rap, a lot of MCs these days when they do a lot of, you know, raps with all this meaning and political stuff as mm -hmm. amazing as that is i really love the ability to sound really dope when mm -hmm. you're not talking about much at all yeah yeah, you know yeah. I mean? i'm not sure. saying that's all i do but i yeah. really appreciate that because mm -hmm. it's show it's the technical ability mm -hmm. and using your voice like an instrument yeah, yeah. You know, when your delivery is exceptional and mm -hmm. sounds amazing when yeah. you could just be talking about absolutely nothing yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah. i mean it's kind of like when you're having a conversation with someone right exactly yeah, yeah. and i remember living in london and i had no idea what they're saying mm. and then i remember like talking to an aussie person and we'd be mm. talking about nothing but it'll mm. be that bigger yeah. connection <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> So yeah. when, I, when I kind of first met Ziggy, uh -huh. I, it, it's, I do the same thing with most MCs and yeah. it's not even a thing that I do on purpose, okay. but like I play the beats out and most dudes are jamming and then uh -huh. I'll, I'll mix things up, I'll speed it up, I'll yeah. slow it down and, uh -huh. and some dudes will, will vibe with it yeah. and just get it straight away with mm -hmm. the first kick. Mm -hmm. They'll know this is different timing, boom, uh -huh. is it 88, mm -hmm. bang on. Mm -hmm. And you know, some MCs kind of get it some yeah. don't and yeah. he was one of them dudes who just nailed it on the head okay. and like for me I was like yeah, yeah. sick he understands the, like the first on. time I met him we were hanging out and I was with um, this other MC culture that we, uh, yeah, we yeah. worked with and um, and he was jamming and I'd been with I'd been with so many producers that would make so much superfluous crap that I didn't mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and I go oh let's sit down and make something and I'm like oh what do you got and he's like don't worry man you just, you just listen and he just starts making beats and the yeah. first thing he made I stood up I was like wait wait that that don't, yeah. don't forget that do that do that do that and he just pissed that himself off and yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And That's recorded, amazing. Recorded a song the day, and yeah. yeah, we're into it from there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's just what do you think, like, the art of freestyling is? Because I know it's not always natural for an MC. Mm. Mm. Well, I think it's, I think it's important. Oh, and a producer as well. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I think it's, it's different for us, but it's. Mm. I don't know, because when I, if I hang out with him, when he's making beats, mm -hmm. he's freestyling the whole mm -hmm. time, you know, because mm -hmm. I, I freestyle, but then I sit down and I write rhymes, mm -hmm. you know, so there's a difference, I guess. Um, but freestyling is is the active, easiest, I think, most um, important way to participate in the culture. Yeah, yeah. For sure, because mm -hmm. if it, when there's MCs standing around, if, like, in a cypher, basically, you, mm -hmm. when MCs yeah, jump in... They beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, MCs, yeah, they yeah. Can imp yeah. If they can impress you mm -hmm. enough, yeah, yeah. you know, just on mm -hmm. the spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's that first it's impression. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and when, MC, when MCs jump into a cypher, um, and, you know, I spit written rhymes in a cypher and stuff because it sounds awesome when everyone's having a jam, but uh, you know, doing the freestyle is when you're in the room, it pulls everything together, you yeah. know? Because yeah. the written rhyme's something that's out there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to do with this. It's mm -hmm. all within, but when you're freestyling, it pulls everyone together. Mm -hmm. It's about everyone, because yeah, it's the yeah, situation yeah. right now. Yes. You know, you're Bringing rapping about- Bringing in the dude that's there in yeah. the Vulcan yeah. shirt, yeah. the yeah. chick over there in yeah. those, you know, mm -hmm. shorter jeans, yeah, you know, yeah. just bringing something up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And then bringing everyone involved, and they're like, yeah, awesome. Like, yeah. And it's been real mad when we've, we've bust. Mm -hmm going busking together, I think yeah. that's the easier mm. way to say that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, with an MC, you know, someone like Ziggy especially, mm. is he brings the crowd involved yeah. mm. and they start listening, you know. Yeah. If I was just there on the NPC, like mm. people would like, oh cool, music's playing. Yeah. A lot of them don't understand that it's actually being played live. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then when Ziggy's there, he can bring them in and then he'll, he'll drop something about, oh look, look yeah. at this, and it's being played like live. And then with yeah. that, I'll drop something out uh -huh. so they see. And, yeah. yeah. You know, and people really cool. like it. Like at the yeah. Foundry, it's, it's a full, because mm. it's a freestyle jam. Mm -hmm. They, they I, was a, I was a feature artist, you know, maybe in October last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'd come every week because it was a jam and I'd get up and freestyle about everyone and it's, you know, because it's a full jam when everyone's just playing music and stuff, mm -hmm. but I love getting Lord up. Street Boys are doing that. Yeah, yeah. But I love getting up and like when I, when I get up and I start, when it, even if I'm not like saying you in the red hat or <laughs> you in this or whatever, when yeah. everyone can tell and comes yeah. forward because uh -huh. they're a part of it. Yeah. They're in there. They are being witnessed by me and I'm talking mm -hmm. about everything that's yeah, going yeah. on. They love it. You know but usually, I mean? you know, you rock up to a gig and mm -hmm. they're talking about their life or yeah, what's yeah. happening there. And yeah. Yeah. Which is still good. Yeah, it is. It is great. But, but for live performance, to, to rock yeah. up and be like, yeah. hey man, I felt so a part of that gig because yeah, yeah. yeah. it spoke about me and, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah. Well, that's what I think, you know, what captivated me with you guys anyway. Way was the fact that you guys could mm. freestyle yeah, and yeah. you know it's not just a mm. honestly it's not just like normal talent it's you've got mm. to be kind of be able to think on the spot yeah thinking yeah. on the spot you thinking know. ahead thinking yeah. you know confidence mm. confidence is a big one yeah mm. yeah you just gotta be a confident fella yeah mm. <laughs> i mean i'm confident but i'm not yeah. gonna be freestyling <laughs> <laughs> well, it's there. Yeah. It's, it's there. It's yeah, there. you're coming up with Definitely. questions. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm. So, what other projects are you guys working on? Are doing? I know you're um, doing the foundry. Well, I've done. Well, the foundry when that comes back is going to mm. be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that. Absolutely. Definitely, the foundry over the top is unreal like mm -hmm. everyone should go and see it it's yeah. great for my career for mm -hmm. his career as well yeah, yeah. i mean it's good um, for the local scene anyway yeah, yeah. Right? awesome it's step showcasing forward all the local talent. Said, late mm -hmm. nights you finish someplace yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's not even you you're rocking up to foundry late yeah. you're rocking mm -hmm. up to foundry perfect time yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you still That's got the whole night left yeah. and it's, there's just yeah. more to it september yeah, yeah. 18th 11 30. yeah yeah hijacked and hijack and torch yeah gonna be down there bit of plug yeah um but in the works once we've got this um got this album going um, you know, looking at, I yeah. want to get signed or yeah. get just, mm -hmm. I want to, we want to be a part of something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Out labels. Um, <laughs> you know, don't look at the cameras now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah, just prospects for that, you know? Yeah. Um, for sure. Making videos and stuff mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, moving forward, I guess. Excellent. Yeah, but it's great. Definitely, yeah. it's, and like, he's done a lot of projects without me. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of projects with him. Mm -hmm. And definitely, besides everything else, it's, there's more traction with this. Yeah. Than, you know, anything else? Awesome. Yeah. Or chemistry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> chemistry. Yeah, pretty much. That's super little, little, exciting. Little, little. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank yeah, you so much stuff. for coming through, oh, no guys. Worries. Thanks Super for having excited us. to hear the album. Definitely yeah. let me know definitely. when it comes out. Yeah. And, you and know. definitely check out Odd World Disorder. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. We will. Stuff. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. No worries. Thank thank you. <laughs> Cheers. You're watching Super Session. My name's Maggie. Yo, it's Big Z. Bouncing on that B1 sleeves. Thinking what I'm thinking. Yes. Bill Montgomery, please. I got them knobbly knees. Horribly wobbly G's. Billy's bombing and rocking. They're constantly worrying Steve's.